it's Mike, Smoking Monkey, and we are back at it again. We are in the Jeep today. I'm with my boy Mackenzie. Hey, buddy. And we've got a couple other Jeeps today. We've got <laughs> my boys in the Jeep there, and we've got one more. We've got a JKU, so we've got the Gladiator and a JKU and my TJ. So there's the three of us today. And winter came back with a vengeance. It was supposed to be nice and sunny today, but it is not. It is like, oh man, three degrees. <laughs> it was supposed to be like 15, so quite a difference and definitely not that nice but uh we'll we'll power through it we'll go out there hopefully we don't get too stuck hopefully we don't have to get out of the car out of the jeep i should say and uh yeah so let's uh get out i'm gonna air down real quick i don't know if i'm gonna bring you guys with me because the camera's probably just gonna blow away because it's super stupid windy i don't know it just started snowing a minute ago um yeah so i'm gonna air down i think i'm gonna air down to 15 psi today because uh, i don't have b-locks and just uh, let's see what the tire does at 15 and if it needs to go down more it will but if it doesn't then uh, at least we'll know where we're at so uh, yeah I think I'm gonna do that and uh, we'll get back on the road and we'll hit the trail it's about like five minutes from here so it's not too much of a drive and I will see you guys when we get there <music> So here we are guys, this is just the beginning of the trail, as you guys can see a little bit of a stream crossing, a little stream crossing, nothing too crazy, and now he's going to try this climb over here, and this is pretty damn tall, I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty steep one. That's usually where everyone gets stuck. <laughs> Man, it went down my shirt. <laughs> oh, I can feel it running down my back. I can't see shit. It's almost there. It's 
close. Bottoming out on the rail here, eh? You're off there. Uh, I guess he's gonna have to take the bypass because, uh, yeah, it's uh, not really doable with that thing. I think maybe we'll give it a shot, but I've tried it before and it didn't really work for me either, but. We'll try again. <laughs> Bumpers for the win. Yeah, there, there, Testing the new tires and uh, pretty, good, pretty good. And yeah, we're on a pretty good slope and my e-brake doesn't really work. I left her in gear, but she's creeping a bit. So uh, I think I might have to sit in here and hold the brakes just so she doesn't roll away on me. But we made it guys. I didn't think we did. Or I didn't think we would, but uh, yeah, Swampers for the win. Let's keep going. Let's keep testing and let's just see how far we can take this thing. All right, now third guy up. Let's see if the JKU makes it. Oh, it's pretty slick, man. It's pretty slick. So close, so close. It's that root, that root gets everybody. So basically all the roots are just getting super slick and giving us a lot of issues. So if you guys can see right behind me here, there's a root right there. And there's another one that's right here. And basically those are the ones that's giving us the big problem. Uh, whenever we get to these big roots, they just kind of act like, uh, I don't know. It's just super slick. <laughs> it's like ice and another one for the bypass but that's all right we were the ones doing the bypass last time so there ain't no shame in it now uh let's go let's back uh let's hop back in and let's keep going and it looks like my chalk is working because uh, i was rolling away but i put the chalk in and good stuff seven bucks on amazon might save your jeep and look at that color match like come on guys like yo come on
gotta get there real quick because I had to demount my camera off the dash, but hopefully we can get some footage for you guys. There we go. Oh, we got half of his climb and uh, here's the other guy. Oh, it looks like he got a little stuck over there. <laughs> And the fun part, the mud hole. Looks like we all need lockers. <laughs> soon guys, soon, soon. But yo, so far good day. And it, not, it doesn't look like a steep climb back there, but you guys saw how much trouble he had in his Jeep. It is steeper than it looks on camera. I know it's hard to show angles and uh, how steep something is on camera, but trust me, it was actually pretty steep back there. Not as steep as the first one, but it was still a bit of a climb. And it seems like uh, because of the swampers and no fenders, we are covered. I think we might have to turn around once we get down there. There isn't too much further of this trail, but we've got a couple more trails lined up for today. So let's keep going to the end of this. We'll turn around, we'll go back through this, then we'll head out to the next trail. So there's a little bit left of this trail, guys. I think about maybe half a kilometer. Then from here, we're gonna head to another trail system and there's a nice big climb over there too so hopefully we'll get some good footage of that so yeah let's just go we'll finish this off and we'll head over there next That's pretty much it for this trail. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna hit the next trail. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna get out of this right now. And if I see anything uh, interesting on the way out, I definitely will film it for you guys. But I don't wanna bore you guys going back through the same trail. So I will catch you guys when we get to the trailhead of the next one. here at the start of the next trail as you can see it is a road that was just somebody's house we passed and once we actually get in there to the actual like the ATV trail section part of it there's a nice big climb with a big ass hill in there so definitely that's gonna be some good footage hopefully we all make it up there uh, so far today surprisingly my Jeep has been doing the best out of all of the Jeeps um, yeah these new tires are awesome honestly super swampers all the way if you guys are looking for new tires and you guys have a lot of mud or you guys have just a lot of sticky and uh, nasty clay and just nasty stuff out on the trails I definitely recommend some super swampers yes. Yes. and this is where it actually starts getting really hairy this is the most uh, unmaintained part of the road where actually the ATVs start to drive down so right around here we're gonna hit the ATV trail and then you guys will see it actually gets pretty hectic and surprisingly enough these are actual map like these are places on a map like if you see we're on a road and these are those roads where the guy goes I was following the GPS and I ended up in a river and these, these are those ones <laughs>
close this part off. See in there, that's where you get really get stuck. That's where we were last year, and if you guys watch the video, right there is the mud hole where my buddy got stuck up to his roof. And he wasn't sunk up to his roof, but the mud hole is so deep that he is his roof is level with the ground. So it was pretty nuts. Uh, we got him out, but it took a bit of work. <laughs> so actually guys, I think it's a little too early in the season because usually you can actually go down here, but today, yeah. So you guys can see, this part is also closed, no vehicles, and it's basically just because it's too early in the season and the ground is still too saturated and they don't want us to ruin the trail, which I understand, which is completely normal. And I was hoping this would be open because it is actually a road on the map, but uh, I guess we are out of luck. Now, I'm sure we could squeeze by. I think I could probably fit over there between that and the tree, but I don't know if we're all gonna fit. Yeah. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Man, I don't understand. I had the windows up and everything. <laughs> but still, still managed to get some kind of big old mud bricks inside. <laughs> All right, so uh, we can maybe squeeze between there, but the case is that there's not much left of that trail. What we really wanted to do is get in over here, but you can see it's also blocked off. And that's actually the part with the big hill. There's like a big uh, dirt mountain or whatever you want to call it, where you can actually see over everything here. So like I said, now we're just going to basically go back. Uh, I think there's one more spot where there's like a cool obstacle we can do. Hopefully we can get in there. If not, then at least we know we tested the tires and they work good. Uh, I'm not actually disappointed. Today was a pretty good day. and in about another week all the trails open so we will be back and we'll be doing better trails with more obstacles and a lot more scenic things to see because these ones i know they're just more forest trails which are still fun but mm -hmm. it's not as great as going to an actual like uh like rock climbing place or place where it actually has a lot of like cool off-kilter obstacles well we didn't find any more obstacles but you can see the jeep got pretty damn dirty today so we did do a good job and we are here at pine river provincial fishing area and basically we're just gonna go and see what the view is like from the lookout because there's a lookout over here and uh, I figured why not finish our day off like that because we're already down here if it's something nice to see might as well go out and check it out and I thought I'll bring you guys along with me and I'll show you guys what the view is like so let's go let's see if uh, if it's anything worthwhile and if it is well then uh, yeah good thing that we came not bad That's not a bad little chill spot and it's literally like 30 second walk from the actual car so not bad at all and I don't understand what these stairs are for but there's a set of stairs leading right into the water check out this beaver dam you don't see these too often in real life but that thing is huge now that's a beaver dam <laughs> Damn brush. Oh, dog. Somebody came here and did some target practice, eh? Holy shit! What the fuck? Is that like a 22 maybe? I'm trying to look for the Some bullet. kind of BB gun? That's not a BB gun, bro. Yeah, BB guns can hit. BB guns can hit, but not. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's, like, that's a pretty big Look at the shockwave in the fucking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not I don't know. If you guys yeah, can tell what that was made by, let me know in the comments section. But, uh,. The guy's not around anymore, so we can't ask him. <laughs> He's at the bottom of the river. Yeah, he took the stairs. <laughs> oh, there's like a walking path all the way around the damn thing. <laughs> that one wasn't on purpose. But you can go all the way around, I guess. Pretty cool little chill spot. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, I will uh, show you guys the sign again when I'm on my way back out and tell you guys the name because I don't remember it right now. But yeah. Nice way to end the day. Look, there's like a whole platform there. You can see it. Like. Yeah, so there's like a whole walkway across, I guess. Maybe when the water's lower or something. I don't know. 
I have no idea. We might have to come back and check it out because it looks kind of trippy. I don't know what exactly is going on over there, but uh, there's like a walkway and there's some stairs and there's like a whole bunch of stuff going on. And it's definitely not a boat launch because there's no way you're getting your boat in here through that. Guys, it is a fishing area, so I guess those stairs are used for guys to just walk down and fish. Uh, it is the Pine River Provincial Fishing Area. And it is out here in like uh, Caledon or I don't know if you want to call it uh, Mulmer or whatever it is. There's like a whole bunch of little townships out here. Northern Ontario. Uh, well, southern, north of southern Ontario. Yeah, so close to Wasaga Beach if you guys know where that is. And basically, yeah, that's the end of our day. Uh, there's only me and Nico left here. As you can see, that's only our Jeeps are out here. Uh, Dan already left. He was the one with the red JKU. Uh, it was a pretty good day. We tested the tires. The tires worked great. Honestly, I'm super happy with them. Uh, I cannot wait to go out and do some real trails. Uh, May 1st, all the trails open. So look out for that video. Stay tuned. There's tons more awesome footage coming. And we should get a bigger group going because... Uh, a lot of guys are just scared to go out and they don't want to get in trouble and they don't want to do whatever and I understand I'm not blaming them but uh, soon we'll have more Jeeps on the trail and definitely guys it was a good day if you guys are new around here jump down there hit that subscribe button if you guys like the video then definitely drop me a like let me know what you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys want to see in the next one because I'm always happy to take suggestions and make content for you guys that you guys love and want to see so definitely thank you guys for giving me suggestions because I know you guys are great at that but for now, I got to get out of here because it's getting late and it is pretty cold today. It's like two degrees outside right now. So uh, not that fun, probably like 35 Fahrenheit. And honestly, I had a great day and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So until next time, guys, ride safe out there. Peace. Peace.